about to do a major transformation here. Had the undercut, his dad chopped off <laughs> out of nowhere. We're gonna turn this into a fade and some like kind of slick it back. Let's get started. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? We are back and we got a project. This is a project right here. Look at all this hair. His hair is literally a barber's worst nightmare. Now it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a challenge, but it's a lot of work. His hair is super thick, it's super coarse. It's just a lot of work. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just quickly bolt cutting on top and showing you guys all the hair on the floor that was all like literally that's a full set of hair that was already on the floor but we're gonna go ahead and start sectioning it and start cutting mostly to look at how the hair is gonna lay at the parietal ridge and so i start with my shears because my first time cutting his hair and i just want to kind of see how the hair bounces back from being cut at certain lengths and what, what ends up happening is I look at his hair and I'm like, and, and I look at it from like a front profile view and I'm like, man, it's creating too much of a wedge shape. I need to get it flatter. And I end up opting to clip over comb. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is where I look at it from the front profile and I'm like, you know what, man? I did a whole lot of work just now. We're going to throw it out the window. Go clip over comb. It's going to have to do it. And that's okay, man. Especially if it's the first time you cut somebody's hair. It, like, it's better to be safer than, than sorry, right? So, like, next time I cut his hair, I just know I, I've... I've, I've put his formula together, I got his prescription, and next time he comes, I'll put it in, in, in my notes, my book, in my booking app, bro, just go straight to Clipper with Comb, don't even play with, with the sheer work in the beginning, build shape with Clipper with Comb, and, and I'll be honest with you, I should have known better with his, te with his texture of hair, but it is what it is. And so I'm using my Wall Seniors with the Filthy Blends mod, which allows me to put a uh, Andis blade on it. If you hit up Filthy Blends on Instagram, I mean, you, you, you'll be able to see the products that he carries, the modifications, and I, I love it. Honestly, this is my go-to clipper for bolt cutting, which is kind of weird because usually modified clippers end up being a little bit weaker because you're not using the blade that's designed for that clipper. But damn, this clipper just, it just molds through hair. So I love using it for, for, for bolt. Thank you. 
All right, so once we've removed a bunch of that bulk, honestly, that's all we did was remove bulk, um, even on the top. We're going to go ahead and start to create shape. And so I'm creating my profile parting through the middle on the top, and I'm going to create the desired length that I want, and we're going to keep everything squared. So this little section right here is going to be my guide for the entire top. Shout out to my cousin for the beat. Link in the description if you want to check out some of his stuff. Hey, and shout out to all the YouTubers, man, that have been showing Tito love. He puts in a lot of work, man. And, you know, everybody using, like, using his beats and stuff, man, it helps. It helps him, man. And it helps him continue to grow, man. So I really appreciate everybody who's showing him support. Um, all the barbers in the community because he, he does put in work and he supports the industry. So shout out to them. And so you can see I'm grabbing the, the profile parting that we did in the middle and I'm using that to determine my length and then we'll bring it all over to the sides and connect it to the work we did on the sides. And so you do this, this is on the right side of his head and we'll do the same exact thing on the left side of his head to complete cutting the top and this is all before we we customize the cut so i'm definitely gonna thin out his hair because it's so thick but um you know you want to focus on creating the shape before you do that All right, so let's go ahead and blow dry the hair and prepare it for the clipper work and for customizing. Putting a little bit of light product in there, nothing crazy, but it's just going to help hold hair out of the way, but also kind of create a fade that flows into the top, into the finish, into a semi-finished top, I should say. And the blow dryer I'm using, Gamma sent to me. This is a Gamma blow dryer. Shout out to them for the for the gift. Um, I cannot find my Dyson anywhere. I lost it in when I went to New York City, IBS. I lost it. And so um, I've really been taking advantage of using this Gamma blow dryer. And it's pretty damn good. So you see here. I'm thinning his hair out. And I'm I'm not being conservative. I'm literally going in. Really, really thinning his hair out. Because he has so much hair. This makes it easier to, to control. It gives it more movement, especially with this texture. Alright, and so let's start the fade, man. We're gonna go ahead and bald him out. And his brother who's who's here in the room, he you know, he asked me to keep it pretty low. And so we're gonna keep it low. And it just makes sense. If if we bring the fade up too much, we're gonna have to bring bring it a little bit tighter on the sides, and it's gonna be harder to control around the Parado area. So this low fade I think will complement the haircut well, but it's gonna be the hardest possible fade we can do on this person because you can see already in this fade the imbalance in shades right like so we're going to use the blade open and above the ear you can see how much lighter it is than the than the rest of the haircut and so we're definitely going to have to pay attention to shading to color um as we do this fade and so once I've done my blade open I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out that bottom line I'm gonna go close with my clipper and open it as needed at this point we're doing our number one guard open and we're going up about a half an inch each guideline we're gonna go up half an inch 
just because we're trying to keep the fade low right below that one open we'll start taking out that line with the half guard it's all the way open and as you can see we're going to close it as needed And I will take off that half guard if I still feel like there's a subtle line there. I'll take it off and, and do the blade all the way open just to kind of flick out that, that little subtle line. Alright, so above the one guard open, I'm using my one and a half guard all the way open. And again, we're going up about a half an inch uh, of the way. And then I'll close it as needed until it's blended. And you can already see how the blend is coming together. On the, underneath that, we might use the one open. Above that, we'll use the number three guard to the number two guard just to lighten up that bulky area. Tito, let's get it. And so you can see the rough draft of the fade. The rest of this portion will probably be, you know, detailing, um, blending the beard in. Then we'll put the line on it to really see what's going on. And we'll repeat the same steps on the other side. All right, so my rose golds are my hitters. We're gonna use this for the C cup. And then my silver ones, they're a little bit, they're a little bit uh, more conservative. They're a little bit lighter. But look at how the blend, you know, goes with this lineup. It really just brings that whole cut together, heavy. And we haven't even like really spent time detailing the blend yet, but it's already like, to me, it's looking like it has a lot of potential. <laughs> All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and bald them out with the shaver because this is just gonna help with longevity on the fade and also give that crazy gradient look. We'll use our blending shears to kind of soften up and, and lighten up these darker areas above the fade work that we did into the top. I don't use thinning shears on the on the very top of the head where we did all that shear wear, but I will on the blend portion going from fade to the top, right? And so here on this side, we're just gonna repeat the same steps. I'm gonna shut up and let you guys follow along. Remember that color guide on the bottom left corner that's there to keep you guys on track. So follow it. Follow that with the lever and you should be in shape.
This haircut is definitely difficulty level 10 out of 10. <laughs> in my opinion. And there's always gonna be that guy's like, nah, that's an easy cut. But then you, you Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. You guys get what I'm saying. To get this to the level of quality that I would like to see it, it's level difficult level 10 out of 10. And guys, thank you so much. We're so close to 300K, man. I really appreciate everybody's support. Smash that subscribe button. And in the comments, man, I would like to know what you guys want to see more of in the vlogs. Because I'm, I'm currently recording a vlog and I'm trying to give entertainment but also nuggets in it. Um, and so, y'all's feedback is priceless. Using the one and a half guard now. And especially here um, in this back area, man, you really got to spend some time like spreading that out and detailing it. Because if not, it could throw off the entire faith especially when you're trying to keep it a little bit lower So you can see that indent I'm really spending my time trying to get in there lighten it up but I'm I'm trying to do it cautiously so I don't mess it up all right and so we're gonna blend the beard here and then you can see from this angle the blend is looking pretty blurry we're gonna put the C cup on them and that's going that's just gonna bring it to the next level Yeah, see, that's that's looking crazy. That's looking crazy to me. Same thing we did on the other side. We're going to go ahead and use the blending shears just to lighten up this darker area above the fade. And he told me I don't really have to do anything with the beard. But I was like, bro, you know what? He's young. But he might have some, like, you know, some hair up there that might make it look like a subtle beard. So we're going to try a little bit later. So here we are, we're doing the razor work and let's try to let's try to finesse this beard a little bit. All right, and so now that we've lined it up, I can see it's a little bit dark where that blend was to the beard, so we cleaned it up a little bit. And again, in that indent area, it was definitely a little darker. So I'm just trying to kind of finesse that little area and try to lighten it up a bit. At this point, we're just detailing. We're just detailing. We're trying to get this cut to the next level. And uh, I do this with every haircut. Just trying to get a second opinion or a second view of the cut after I've done all the work. Just to try to get it to the next level. All right, and now I'm using 245 indestructible clay. We don't have any in stock. I'm sorry, guys, but it gives this hair texture a lot of texture, a lot of hold, a lot of volume, and I'm using my comb to go ahead and style it, but I like the way the shape, I like the way the hair is flowing to the blend. We'll put some hairspray just to give it a little extra hold. And guys, look at the before. Look at the before. Look at that after. 
man if you're new to the channel please do subscribe we're pretty much putting out daily content at this point it's getting crazy the likes are appreciated um and if you like the cut please do comment below it helps the algorithm guys and i'll see you guys on the next video love y'all appreciate y'all so my man had a lot of hair holy smokes that's a lot of hair